On Saturday, August 17th, 2013, at the Holiday Inn in Hebron, Kentucky, over 600 people gathered at the Bloatarian Brewing League's 25th annual keg-only homebrew competition, Beer and Sweat. The crowd was full of brewers and connoisseurs from all over the Midwest. We were lucky enough to sit down and talk with a few of the key players. Hey guys, it's Brian Jackson. I'm a home brewer by association. We're here at Beer and Sweat 2013. I have eight kegs entered in this competition. Last year I won Best of Show. This year I'm trying to go for two peak. Uh, 352 kegs and 181 contestants. So we'll see what happens. After a long night of getting things together, kegging and tasting, Jackson arrived early to set up his kegs. The morning was an important time for all of the brewers. Checking and icing their kegs, trying their beers, and making sure everything was running smoothly before the afternoon judging. The doors opened to the public at five o'clock. People stood in line eager to get their glasses for tasting. The room was bustling with people, laughing and carrying on. The band played and the kegs were flowing. Meanwhile, brewers walked around mingling and scoping out the competition. As the award ceremony approached, we sat down with sponsors and contestants alike. My name is Jason Brewer, and yes, that is my real last name. From Cincinnati, Ohio, I work at Listerman Brewing Company, the main sponsor of this event going on here, and we're one of the Midwest's largest homebrew supply stores, so it only makes sense that we're a sponsor of this thing. We also have a brewery down on Dana Avenue, so we're, uh, you know, scouting some brewers here, scouting some ideas. You know, that's what all homebrewing is about, is research and development. So I'm Jim Wickens, and I'm from Milford, Ohio, which is suburb of Cincinnati, and uh, I like good beer. I have a Session Ale, I have an American Red Ale, and I have a Stout. Friendly rivalries were apparent, and one name that buzzed throughout the room was Keith Cost. He's from Pittsburgh. He's been doing this for quite some time now. Um, he has 38 kegs this year, and as far as I understand, he has a lot of um, a lot of competition. You got, it's like rivalry. It's just like the Bengals and the uh, My name is Keith Cost. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I, I have 38 entries, and I have I, you know I'm excited about all of them. I'm always most excited about the, the newest beer I make. Something I haven't tried before, or something I'm going to try for the first time. The creation is the fun part about it. It's like cooking a lot in a lot of ways. With 38 entries, Keith brewed over 10% of the beers in the competition. So I think that they should cap entries. Not to say that Keith, he's not breaking the rules or anything, but. 36, 30 plus entries is fucking ridiculous. It's just, how do you have that much money to buy that many corny cakes? Like, I'm kind of a jerk, and they kind of like to, uh, you know, poke at me, you know, and you know, they're envious a little bit. It's not so much really uh, being a better brewer or anything, it's that I make so many beers, and, you know, everyone wishes they had more time to do that. So they like to poke fun that I, have, I, don't, I don't have a light, and, you know, that sort of thing. No, he's a great brewer. He's a great brewer, but don't let him hear me. It's about 7 o'clock right now. The award ceremony should be coming up in about an hour. Um, they're still judging best of show from what I can tell. Uh, it seems like it's going to be really good competition. Um, tried a lot of other people's beers and I know I have a fierce competition. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about a few beers. So. At 8 o'clock, attendees rushed to the stage for the moment they'd all been waiting for. The ceremony opened with the Bloatarium Brewing League ritual. The beers were judged in 23 separate categories, each bearing a first, second, and third place. Some categories also allowed for honorable mentions. Over 80 medals were awarded throughout the evening, but only one brewer would take home best of show. 
This was awarded to Chris Mehta from Trash with his American Wild Ale. Yeah, my name is uh, Chris Mehta. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Member of uh, the Trash Homebrew Club. We've been coming out here for the past 10 years, kicking the Blotarian's ass. And uh, so this is my second best in show in the past three years. Brian uh, took the title for me for uh, one year, but uh, it was nice as a brief reprieve. No, I, uh, I, about three years ago, I just started getting into brewing the sour beers. That's all I've been doing, and uh, they've all been working out well. People seem to like them. The uh, one that won it wasn't even my favorite that I brought today, but uh, I'm glad it won. So I'm happy for it. Trash is the Three Rivers Alliance of Serious Home Brewers from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Chris Meta was not the only member of Trash to take home some medals. And in first place in the meat cider category, tap number 314. Common Cider, Keith Cost. Keith won the Bosmo Award for most individual points, taking home 14 medals. I'm a little tired, actually. Uh, it takes a lot out of me to walk up and get all those awards, put them around my neck right here, so that's, that's pretty rough, uh, you know. But no, I'm kidding. It, I feel great, you know. And we got all these weird guys next to me, and it's actually a whole club that every time we brew a beer, everyone else tastes it, and it's like you only get you only make better beers when you have other guys uh, actually like tasting it. But this guy used to make a good American Brown, and uh, my motivation to win that category this uh, week was to beat his beer, and I did that. With Keith Cost as their backbone, Trash won the King Schwenke Award for the club with the most points. Three Rivers Alliance of Serious Homebrewers, so it's a, an old uh, homebrew club that started, I think, back in the like, mid-80s, and we've actually now, uh, I don't know, we've kind of shed that old skin, and actually now have a lot of great new brewers. Uh, Andy over here, uh, one, you know, came in runner-up the best of show. Uh, he's only been brewing for less than a year, so that, that's like, less than two years now, yeah, but like, there's a lot of new guys that are really uh, into it, and I think that's the key. The hometown host the Bloterium Brewing League, also known as the BBL, took home their fair share of medals as well. One of which taken home by Brian Jackson, who won third place for his Belgian Strong. The first year I was absolutely blown away, not just by the quality of the beer here, or the amount of beer here, but the people here. The people was what makes beer and sweat. They are some of the best people in this city at this event, and it's just mind blowing. And second year coming, and I will miss you for sure. After a long and eventful day of great beers and good times, the evening was over, with everyone anticipating the next beer and sweat.